doesn't to sound too good. Does she know this person on the other side of the line? You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Ah, reporter. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. All right, then. We don't need to talk about it. Ooh, Thanks. But snappy. There's nothing I can do now, anyway. Oh, we'll give her a last bar. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's, She's had one. good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. So, I think all that's left for us to do is to venture on over to here. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Jesus. I think we might be trapped. <laughs> I'm just having a wild guess. Stuck in the dark here. But, uh, oh my goodness. He just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all we care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How okay. the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. A couple of months, maybe. Better keep it down out of here. Mm, right, we're gonna just have a look about. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up, and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Okay, what else have we got? The lock? Tool store. What's this? Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Trapped. Look at the one trapped over there. Better help uh, us. Huh? Pharmacy manager. Oh shit. He knew what? him as well. Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. Oh boy. <laughs> Who's gonna know. volunteer? It could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and. Shut up, Doug. He knows him. Obviously. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. Take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. This is brother. We prove that that guy worked here, and then we can try to clear the street to search him for the keys. Yeah, probably easier said than done. How do we prove he worked here? It's a combination lock. Maybe we go back inside. Well, I don't know if there's anything else left out here. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has some, but who knows if he actually worked here. Okay, back inside then. How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer?
computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Let's head back inside. Okay. Man, so his parents, all the shop, they're dead. His brother, pharmacy worker, he's dead. I mean, poor guy, he's <laughs> also going through turmoil right now. So I think we've got to ex prove that that guy over there worked here somehow so we can search him. That's the gist that I'm getting. I don't know how on earth we're going to do that, but uh, let's take a look around maybe again, see if something comes to light. Photographs. Reading cards, I mean, what proof? Try to get some rest, Hunt. How can I with those things out there? I've seen all these things before, but. I don't remember them very well. Is there gonna be something in here that ties him to the drugstore? I don't think so. I scream, I scream, I scream, everybody else has an ice cream. Oh, what's this here? I'm going here. Office. Is this where his parents are? This might be not a pleasant sight. Stayed, kid. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. <laughs> Luckily. All right. So what about? The pants came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe, or a protector. Photo over there. Oh. Happier times. Ah, that'll be the proof that he needs. He's got a. He's got a uh... Find anything? He's got an ID badge on the picture. Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. Huh. You're oh. Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Uh, Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you mouth. tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No, I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Oh, a bit of blackmail as well thrown in. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. Stupid cow. Did you have to say a, a murder in front of the bloody child? I mean, how crass. What's that? A 
This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. <laughs> was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Alright, I think of these drawers. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? With the drawers? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Do you have kids? Do I? No. Uh, no you I don't, don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like um, social studies? Yeah, like that. Something similar. You didn't answer my question. Oh, very smart child she is. All right, a little further. <laughs> I tried to divert by uh, the question with a question of my own, but she had the right little button, this one. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Oh, my God, Do she's they, worse like, than... hate you? She's worse than the reporter. <sighs> I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. Why? But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Maybe she didn't hear the murder accusation. <laughs> Ow! Oh! <gasps> Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Get the first aid kit. I'll find you a bandage. Nothing in the drawer, but there's a first aid kit here. That'll do. Get the remote for that thing in here someplace. Ah, we'll put the TV on for it. It'll be entertained. Yeah, it'd be marvelous. Let's have a look at that finger. How? Oh. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Go. Good as new. Lee? Yes? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll find us, don't They'll worry. Uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Right, remote control. It's the remote to my dad's TV. TV on. Watch the news. Watch some cartoons, maybe. <laughs> Take our mind off things. That's what I figured. No reception. Damn. Dad told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in here. But I caught him watching his stories more than a few times. Stories. All right, well, we'll keep the remote. You never know, it might come in handy. Throw it in one of the zombies' heads or something. <laughs> Death by remote control. What's this door? Oh, the pharmacy. Uh, the K. 
keys are on that zombie out on the street. Ah, right. Yeah, that'll be a bit of a bind. Just checking with Claim one last time. How's your fig? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. All right. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, he's yeah. nasty. We'll keep an eye on him. Nasty there old man. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Good old Lee, eh? Keeping his eye out for that poor little Clementine girl, eh? Fills my heart with such joy. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? Yeah? You're not bad, right? Of course uh, not. <laughs> why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Complicated. It's complicated. Sometimes things happen, or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. That's his answer to everything involving children. When they ask a question, it's complicated. Too complicated for your little brain to comprehend, okay? Now don't ask any more questions, alright? <laughs> All right, so we have the piece of paper, or the uh, piece of paper. We have the picture, the photograph of my dead brother, the drugstore, the pharmacy worker. That should be enough proof, I reckon, for us to uh, go up there and get the keys and come back and get the drugs for the man who's sick, Larry. Yeah, the man that had a heart attack on us, the old nasty man with the big nose who tried to kill a poor little innocent child. But yeah, we'll help him. So join me next time. We shall head out into the street, try to retrieve the drugstore key, uh, the pharmacy hey there. key. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is Glenn, and. Uh... I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? What's going on? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. We got I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. I think we better get the uh, the drugstore thing sorted first. This poor old man needs, a, needs a, some pills. So we'll quickly go outside. Oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Wait a minute, come on. There we go. I was about to sign off there. We're getting distracted. Alright, here we go. Let's go back outside. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yes, I do. Let's have a look around. Okay. There we go. It's all saved again. So, join me next time when we will head out to try and find that pharmacy key from my dead brother. And then we can head down to the gas station and uh, rescue Doug, who's got himself into a little bit of trouble. Is it Doug? I don't know. There's too many names flying about. Anyway, join me next time. See you soon.